Hello, Kamatoclast! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng Aralin sa Mathematics. Sa nakaraan nating video, pinag-aralan na natin ang mga nakikita niya sa ating screen ngayon. Pero i-extend natin ang ating kalaman tungkol sa topic na to sa pamamagitan ng ating video. This video is about solving algebraic word problems. Let's start! Sa nakaraan nating panayam ay pinag-aralan na natin ang katulad ng ganitong mga mathematical sentence. So, ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin ang kaalaman niyan. Ita-translate natin yan sa mathematical equation. Pero gagamitan na ngayon natin ng boxes or ng table. So, sa blue, ilalagay natin mismo itong ating problem. Kaya simula natin, dito natin ilagay ang 4, dito naman yung more than, dito naman yung tw twice a number, then east, then 44. So, yan din mismo yung problem. 4, more than twice a number is 44. So, isi-change na natin ang mathematical sentence na to sa algebraic equation. So, kaya itong 4, we have that. Then, more than means plus, kasi madadagdag, or, kaya plus. Then, twice a number, ibig sabihin, twice is 2, a number, ang number natin ay x. So, we have that. Then, is means equal, then, 44. Okay? So, pagkatapos, alamin na natin ang working equation. Obviously, yan na yung working equation, which is also written as 2x plus 4 is equal to 44. Mas magandang ito yung gamitin natin kasi sabi dyan, 4 more than twice a number is 44. 4 more than. So, ibig sabihin na dagdag siya. Kaya ito yung mas gamitin natin to solve the problem. Then, ililipat natin si 4 sa side ng 44. Kaya ang matitira lang dito ay 2x equals 44. Ito ililipat natin. Kaya magiging mapupunta siya dun sa kabilang side. Dahil positive siya dito, magiging negative. Kaya naging 44 minus 4. Then perform the operation, we have 44 minus 4, that will be 40. Then divide both side by 2. Kung anong kalapit ng x doon, i-divide both side by 2. So cancel na to. So ibig sabihin, mawawala na to. Mawawala na rin ito. Kaya ang matitira na lang doon ay x, which is equal to 40 divide 2 that will be 20. Therefore, ang inaanap nating number sa problem na ito is 20. Okay? Let's have another one. Consider that we are about to work on with the difference between 5 times a number and 6 is 24. Find the number. Gamitan ulit natin ang table. So, isulat na natin dito mismo sa lahat ng yan yung una. The difference between 5 times a number and 6. Explain na lang natin bakit dyan na lang sa isang box sila nilagay. Then is, then 24. Since we are talking of the difference, hindi siya pwedeng ilagay na una minus. So, lagay natin between naman yan, kaya dito siya sa gitna. Malalagay. So, 5 times, seto yon kasi yung x ang ginagamit natin na inere-represent sa number and 6. Kaya pinagsama na lang yan sa isang part ng table. Then is means equal, then 24. Hence, our working equation is 5x minus 4, 6 equals 44. Ito rin yun, ha? Okay, so solve na natin gamit ang equation na to. So again, ito uli ang ililipat sa kabilang side, kaya magiging 5x equals 24. Ilipat natin yon. Okay, so magiging plus 6. Then perform the operation. Kaya 5x is equal to 30, 24 plus 6 is 30, then divide both side by 5, para makancel natin yung 5. Then, ang matitira na lang dito ay x. So, x is equal to 30 divide 5, that will be 6. So, ibig sabihin, ang nawawalang number here, o ang hinahanap nating number sa problem na ito ay 6. Let's have another one. 
consider that we have a number is increased by one third of the number is eight. What is the number? Gamit uli ang ating table. A number, lagay natin, increased by, lagay natin, one third of a number. Okay, then is, then eight. So, translate na natin a number. Hindi natin alam ang number, kaya represent na lang natin yan sa x. So, increased by, ibig sabihin, madadagdag, one third of a number. So, one third of a number. Kasi ito yung number na, pinag-uusapan. So, is 8. Hence, yan yung ating magiging working equation. x plus 1 third x equals 8. So, solve natin. So, sa ganitong paraan, kapag nakakakita kayo ng fraction, usually, para mas madali siyang masolve, imumultiply natin both side by the denominator. So, denominator ay 3, 3. So, didistribute natin muna ito dito. Distribute natin. Tapos didistribute nyo ito doon. So, ito rin i-distribute natin doon. Kaya pag ito, 3 times x, that will be 3x. Pero dito, maka-cancel out na to. Okay, para clear. Kaya ang natira is 3x. Ito yung 3 times x. Dito, 1x or x. 8 times 3, that will be 24. At pwede itong isolve. So, 3x plus x is 4x equals to 24. Divide both side by 4. Para ma-cancel out ang 4. So, x is equal to 24 divided by 4. That will be 6. Hence, the number na we are looking for is 6. Okay. Let us have another example. Three parts of the difference of 2 times a number and 6 is 12. Find the number. So, gagamitin muli natin ang table para mas madali natin makuha. Lagay natin dito yung 3 fourths, dito natin ilagay. Then off, lagyan natin ng sarili kasi off means multiplication, in advance na natin. Then the difference of 2 times a number and 6, lagay natin doon, is, lagay natin is, and the last one is 12. So translate na natin, 3 fourths, so that's fraction, we have 3 fourths. Off means multiplication. Ito na yung gagamitin natin. Kasi yung variable x ay ginagamit natin. Yun yung nawawalang number. Baka malito tayo kung alin ang operation at alin ang variable. That's why I use this. Dito sa table. Then the difference of 2 times a number and 6. So 2 times a number, ito yung difference and 6. Then is means equal then 6. 12. Hence, our working equation will be 3 port times 2x minus 6. So, inayos na natin ito. Ano? So, ginawa na natin uh, parenthesis here. So, tapos, the next thing to do is to solve it. So, usually, sabi ko kanina doon sa isang example na may fraction, minumultiply ko both side by the denominator. Ang denominator natin ay 4. So, in this case, So, i-distribute natin ang mga value. Maka-cancel na natin ito. Cancel na. So, ito na lang ngayon ang i-distribute natin. Same thing here. Okay na? So, we have that. 3 times 2x and 3 times negative 6. Then, 12 times 4. That will be 6x minus 18 equals 48. Lagyan natin. 3 times 2x, 6x, negative 6 times 3, that's negative 18, then 12 times 4 is 48. Tapos, inilipay natin ito sa kabilang side. So, 6x is equal to 48 plus 18, magiging plus. Kasi nilipat natin, addition APE tayo, addition property of equality. Hence, this will be 6x equal 66. 48 plus 18 is 66. Then, divide both side by 6. Usually, para makancel out ito. Then, we have That. So, x is equal to, pag 66 divide 6, that will be 11. Therefore, the number that we are looking for is 11. This time, let's start with this process. What represents the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 3x plus 1 feet and width is x minus 2 Fit. So, let us consider that we're about to represent. Since we are talking of a rectangle from the problem, so yung side niya ang ating pag-uusapan kasi perimeter ng rectangle.
rectangle. So, kapag pinag-uusapan ng perimeter ng rectangle, ito rin yung length at width ay napakahalaga. Kaya, yun mismo yung magre-represent. So, yung 3x plus 1, yun yung length. Then, x minus 2 feet, yun naman yung ating magiging width. Para masolve natin ito, kailangan alam natin ang formula ng perimeter. At ang formula ng perimeter ay P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Hence, the value of L na 3X plus 1, sa substitute lang natin. At ang value ng W, sa substitute lang din natin. Kaya magiging perimeter is equal to 2 times 3X plus 1 from here. Then, plus 2 times X minus 2 galing uli doon. So, pwede na ngayon natin hanapin kung ano ang perimeter ng rectangle. So, gamit mismo itong ating nakuwang na from the formula of the perimeter, this time, we will be applying the distributive property of multiplication. Okay? So, magdi-distribute tayo like that. So, ibig sabihin, 2 times x, then 2 times 1, then 2 times x, and 2 times negative 2. Ito yung magiging sagot. Kasi 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 1, is 2, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And this time around, combining like terms is important. Tulad nito, like terms si 6x at si 2x, si 2 at si negative 4. Kaya 6x plus 2x and 2 minus 4, the answer is 8x minus 2, 6x plus 2x, 8x, 2 minus 4 ay negative 2, hence the perimeter is equal to 8x minus 2 feet. How about this one? What is the area of the square if the side is x minus 2 centimeter? Since we are talking of the square, again, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay side nito. Okay, alam naman natin kapag square, pare-pare siya na sukat ng side. Kaya ito lang din yung magiging representation natin. So, x minus 2 be the side of the square. So, gamit ang formula ng square, which is a is equal to s squared, at ito na yung isa substitute doon. So, ito ngayon yung gagamitin natin. a is equal to quantity x minus 2 square para makuha ang area ng square. So, let's start. So, gamit ang formula. So, we are going to work on with square of binomial. Two terms to, kaya square of binomial. Pag in-square ang binomial, pwede nating isulat ng ganitong paraan para gamitin natin ang FOIL method. Pero pwede rin naman yung process ng squaring binomial. So, ito na muna yung gamitin natin sa FOIL method. Ito yung magiging result. So, we have x times x is x squared. We have this. Then, ito yun. Two, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. x times negative 2 is Negative 4x na yan kapag inad yung dalawang sagot kanina. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Pwede rin natin gamitin yung square of binomial. Yung sinabi ko kanina, yung, yung rule doon, square the first term, ito yon Then multiply the first and the last term. x times negative 2 is negative 2x, ito double, kaya naging negative 4x. Then square the last term, negative 2 times negative 2, we have 4. Ang area of the square is x squared minus 4x plus 4 is square centimeter. That's all, Kamato class. God bless us.